Today at Locust Grove in Poughkeepsie, the 2014 Students Against Destructive Decisions or SAD conference was held. The event was sponsored by the Council on Addiction Prevention and Education, or CAPE, Dutchess County, and New York State Stop DWI. There were eight school districts represented, and over 120 kids, along with their advisors, attended. Elaine Trampetto, executive director of CAPE, says part of today's goal is to make clear drug and alcohol abuse does happen in our communities. We insulate ourselves from the realities. You hear something on television or you read something in the paper and the inclination is it's, it's not in my backyard. Well, it is. It's in everyone's backyard. The two age groups that are most affected by this opiate addiction are 18 to 24 and 30 to 50 years old. It is inch by inch becoming um, clearer to people, but perhaps not fast enough. People need to be aware that this is a growing problem within our community and find out what they might do as an individual, a family, and a community to change the direction, to change the trajectory of the tragedies that are happening in Dutchess County. Today, students were left with the memorable experience. I started to eat. My dad said, hurry, I got some place to go. So I tried to eat a little faster, but it had been sitting there a long time. It was cold and kind of yucky. He said, hurry up, the boys are waiting. And I tried to eat faster, but I was a kid. I had a small mouth. And my mother said, don't yell at him. He's doing the best he can. I'll yell if I want. He's my kid. And they started yelling, and all of a sudden, he just took the plate and pushed it in my face. And left. We really wanted to bring in a speaker and workshops that would uh, help the students not only have fun today, but to learn valuable skills. We want them to have ideas that they can use to create fundraisers, activities, awareness campaigns within their schools. It's important to have these clubs and kind of bring awareness to the people. And if, if your school doesn't have it, then try bringing it up or try finding a group of friends that have the same mindset as you and maybe go on from there and try building up. More likely than not, kids are going to listen to other kids before they're going to listen to adults. That's not to say they won't listen to adults, but the nature of the beast is that they're, they're going to go to their peer group to find out what's going on in their lives. We could relate to them more than I'd say adults can that we're our voices kind of pull more value to them than say a paper on the wall or an announcement and the speakers. So I think we are very important to them. And I hope that we can continue to do it and just keep bringing in great speakers and great workshops. If you fill up your structured time with things that are investment in your life and your, in your passions, find what they are. If you don't know what they are, then start looking for different things or read about different things. Visit different things that you know, um, excite you. When you find those things, then find other people around you that have the same likes and that, and that becomes your peers your real peers. The other people are going to stand there and they're always going to be those group of people that are kind of going like this. But you go in a different direction and they get smaller and smaller and smaller. I just want to share my story and I'm hoping that I can help, uh, you know, help some kid not make the same choices I made. I didn't just get clean one day and that was it. It took me um, probably almost a good 10 years of trying, going to different programs, different rehabs, um, you know, going to meetings, going to AA meetings, NA meetings, um, trying it all these different ways. It was a struggle. Um, so rather than have to do that, uh, you know, if you just don't do it in, in the first place, then that's, that's a much better way to, to deal with this problem. Because there is no guarantee once somebody gets hooked on these hard drugs, whether it's heroin or the uh, prescription pills, cocaine, meth, whatever, that, that they're going to make it. There's, there's no guarantee. The message is growing. And if these kids who leave here today go back to their schools and whatever other groups they're involved in, they take something away with them today. We know the risk factors for our young people are growing and we've got to build the protective factors that reduce those risk factors. And this is one way to do that.